Beautiful day here in southwestern Minnesota. Working on my New Holland L565 skid steer. You know, it's funny how you let things go so long and then finally after a bit you just can't stand it anymore and you gotta fix it. But anyway, if you look here, uh, there's a crack on the, well, I guess you can't see it here. But there's a crack here on my bracket to hold my muffler on. This gets bolted to the manifold right here. And then from there, there is also a bracket here, or a brace that goes down to the engine block somewhere, or the engine mount actually. And uh, this gets mounted in. Well, I'm taking my trusty SP-130T wire feed welder with the Argon CO2 mix, I think it is. Or it might be just Argon, I don't know. Uh, got it set for D and number 7. Seems to be working pretty good. I haven't not burned through its metal. It uh, seems to uh, be magnetic. So, therefore... I am going to weld this flange back on here very carefully because this tin is um, exhaust pipe is a little bit on the thin side, so I'll probably put a little more heat on the actual flange than on the uh, pipe. Try not to burn through. But this thing was really kind of a mess. It was uh, broken all the way on the inside there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it was broken all the way on the inside and it was actually cracked all the way along. There you can see it cracked pretty good. And it looks like somebody might have tried to weld it, unless that is the factory weld, which wouldn't surprise me. Uh, it looks pretty tough. Anyway, that's it. I'll shoot another video here when I get it welded up. See what you think of my horse crap welding. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah, back to this thing again. I globbed some weld on, as you can call it. I'm not a welder. I kind of like to learn uh, a little bit of uh, TIG welding. Be kind of interesting to try uh, aluminum, uh, stainless steel, that type of thing. Like I said, I'm, I don't claim to be a welder, but I uh, can always learn. But uh, the thing wasn't welded on very decent in the first place. I noticed that they only welded where the bolt holes weren't. I did have to take my Dremel tool and my grinder at the one set. I could get a hold of on the other, the back side here. Let me see if I can get that all over the place. That'd be good. On the back side, yeah, you can see I globbed some weld on here. But uh, everywhere where there was a hole, uh, the bolt has a spacer here that has to go in. And I, tr I had a bolt over here so I could make sure I could get a spacer in. But uh, uh, like I said, I... I uh, wherever I could. Uh, couldn't weld on the outside, I welded on the inside to kind of plug all the holes that were there, cracks. Well, thanks for watching, have a great day. Bye, this one should be complete. This part, I thought probably just string them all together into one. I got it back together. There's this brace that goes down to the engine block, or not block, mount. And then uh, here's my Horrible weld job. Welded it on the inside and outside of that other bracket that goes up and welds to the, or attaches to the muffler. But I don't know. Seems to be doing fine. A lot different sounding now. A lot quieter with all that metal rattling around. I don't even know what to think now that that is taken care of. So, next project, get the oil changed on it, get it ready for summer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.